welcome back to Can't Make Up Your Face, where I teach you how to make up your face. Today's video is going to be all about my drugstore favorites. And I know you guys have been watching my videos lately, and I'm using a lot of high-end makeup. I'm not really showcasing a lot of drugstore or affordable options, so I figured I'll devote this whole video to just drugstore items and my favorite ones. And I'm going to try to pick ones from every category. So everything here is... You know. So I'm going to quit rambling and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And I'll go in the order of application of the face. Unfortunately, I don't have a primer that I can mention that is my absolute favorite. But I do have a foundation that I pretty much swear by. I think this is probably one of the best foundations that I've ever tried. And I think it's super comparable to high-end makeup. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And this foundation is incredible. The coverage is medium to full coverage. I'm wearing it today. If I need to wear any concealer, it's just for you know really really dark pigmentation or dark acne scarring it has like this demi matte finish it feels so lightweight to the skin it's like not heavy at all I have to touch it maybe twice a day which isn't even a lot in comparison to other foundations that I use I will say though that this is quite pricey from the drugstore I think it's about ten dollars to twelve dollars I could be wrong I wish also that when I purchased this foundation that they had a primer to go with it like it's a great foundation and I just can't stop seeing prices about it because it's so great. If you guys watched my tutorials, you'll know that I've been using this foundation a lot. I kind of interchange them between the Clinique Stay Matte Foundation and that one's a high-end foundation, but this one is really good. If you have oily skin or at least normal to oily skin, I would highly recommend this foundation. The wear time is amazing and just... Alongside that foundation, obviously my favorite powder is the one that goes with it. I use this powder only in the morning when I first apply my makeup and I never use it anymore after that. I just use it once. It just pairs beautifully with that foundation. The coverage is great as well. It's really like silky and smooth to the touch. A little bit of this literally goes a long way. I just kind of like smack my brush in it and then smack it on my face and then that's it. That's all you need. You know, there are a ton of powders out there on the market that are also good, but this is probably one of the only powders that I've actually tried and I probably only tried it because I purchased it with the foundation. But you know, if you have recommendations for drugstore powders, comment down below what they are because I'm really curious to know. Next is concealer and I actually really like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. That one I feel is comparable to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. The consistencies aren't the same, that's for sure, but I just find that that one is a little too thin. It doesn't offer as much coverage as the NARS one does. But this one also from Maybelline is the Instant Age Rewind, and this one I feel is a lot thicker, and it just covers up way more than the Fit Me does. And this one is actually targeted for underneath the eyes, and Sometimes I use it under the eyes and sometimes I use it on my spots too. And a tip that I have with this one is to actually remove the sponge. The sponge probably soaks up maybe like 20% of the product. And so it's kind of a waste. But if you like pop off the sponge and you like see that little thing, you get way more product and it's not as wasteful. I like using the neutralizer shade. I used to use the light shade and I think that one just didn't really work with my skin tone very well. This one's more yellow in undertone and I really like it. I don't have an eyebrow pencil that I I could recommend but an eyebrow gel that I would like to recommend on those days that I'm just feeling really lazy and I don't really want to carve out my brows I use just the L'Oreal brow stylus plumper so this is a tinted brow gel and it has little fibers in it I believe Un unless that's my own hair but I'm pretty sure there are fibers in this thing so it's a tinted brow gel so not only does it set it in place but it also kind of adds a little bit of you know volume in there but I especially love this this concept here the thing I didn't like that much about the benefit gimme brow was that it was such a stubby wand and sometimes I would find myself like smacking my eyebrow with the whole wand but this one because there's a little bit more length I feel like I can go in from afar and I can't get any of it on my skin and I really like that I don't know why it it's just like, it works, you know? I, I really like the concept of that. Nothing else to say except it's really good. So if you have naturally hairy brows like I do, then this is probably a good alternative to using like a dip brow or using a pencil or even like powder to fill in your brows if you're just kind of 
in a hurry and you just want to set them in place, this is a really good option. For blush, couldn't find a bronzer that I would, you know, ride or die bronzer, but I did find a blush and although I don't use this blush that much, I feel like it has the best pigmentation and the best quality and it is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso and this speaks for all of their blushes because I know that they have a matte line as well and I love their matte blushes because the pigmentation for matte blushes is so intense it's crazy you literally need the littlest bit and the same goes with these shimmery blushes as well they literally don't need that much effort I love the color of Luminoso I think it's so flattering on so many skin tones it's great year-round with any eye color that you're wearing or even any lip color it's such a great blush it's very universal and highly recommended recommended. For eyeshadows, I don't know if you guys know this, let's talk about the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadows. They have singles, they have trios, and then I think they have the eight pans. I don't know if they do six pans anymore. I could have sworn they stopped doing those, but I could be wrong. Let's talk about brulee. Okay. About two years ago, I had a little scare, okay? Mama had a scare because I used this shadow religiously. I used it as an eyeshadow. I used it as a brow bone highlight. I used it as a highlight on the cheekbone. I used it to set my under eyes. I literally, like this, if this went away, I would, I would die a little bit inside. There was my scare. Someone posted that they were discontinuing this. They were saying that if you did find them, pick them up before they are gone. And I freaked out. So I went to drugstore.com and they had a ton of them. So I purchased like 20 of these eyeshadows and now I I'm stocked for life. But they weren't discontinuing it. So now I have 20 of these eyeshadows and I'm stocked for life. But for no reason. But yeah. So all the reasons that I mentioned why I use it before still use it for the same reasons. It's a great eyeshadow. The pigmentation, the bomb. The consistency of it is extremely buttery. So comparable to high end. So comparable. And the fact that it's a matte shadow too, like... Come on now, it's so good. Double check to make sure if they're the color icon eyeshadows because those are the ones that are the good ones. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm just kind of transitioning, starting to wear eyeliner, so I don't really have an eyeliner pick, but I do have mascara. And back before when I wasn't wearing eyeliner that religiously, all I did was I would just wear mascara and I would thicken up those lashes and I would make it look defined from the lash line so then I wouldn't have to wear eyeliner. This is it. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and it's in the waterproof version. So orange tube, waterproof version, you are set for life. Like this is so good. I will say it's a little hard to get off, you know, even with makeup remover that's for waterproof makeup, but it's, it's really good. It's good at separating, it's good at defining, and it's good at lengthening. The formula of it isn't really wet and it's not really dry either. It's like just the right amount. It's good for my lashes and I have lashes that like to sink. So you have lashes that are just like mine that are really stubborn. This is a good mascara, I promise you. And I also use this when either I'm wearing falsies and I just need to add a coat in case like there's some powder that got on my lashes and I just need to blend them in through the falsies. High-end mascaras are, you know, they're good and all. I, I like some of them, but for the lifespan of mascara being only about three to four months, why dish out so much money for high-end mascara when you can get practically really good stuff at the drugstore? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. For falsies, and you guys probably know I've been wearing falsies a lot. See, I'm like up in my game, okay? Your girl is doing good. I've been wearing falsies a lot because I'm just trying to like get more used to it on an everyday basis and just start getting more comfortable with wearing it. Plus, it really brings your whole look together. The second you slap on falsies, your whole makeup game has changed. It's just like... My favorite ones from the drugstore are the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes, and this is one that comes like in the one set. I like purchasing them in like the pack. I think there's six or eight sets of lashes, and those ones, really good value. Get those instead if you love wearing falsies. These make your lashes look like really defined at the lash line, but they're just natural. They're not overly long. So they're not like touching your eyebrows and they're like wispy and flared out and they just kind of bring this little fluttery look to your eyes. I don't wear like overly dramatic lashes on a daily basis. I wear these. These are good. Moving on to lips. Now, I have quite a few lip liners, and to be honest, lip liners I'm not really picky with. As long as they're the right color, that's all I care about. The ones that I've been using for years now are the Jordana Quick Liners or the Jordana Easy Liners. Honestly, I don't know the difference. I think that they're all good from Jordana, and they're super affordable. I think they're like $1.99 for one. Come in all sorts of colors. They have like Tawny, which I know is a kind of brown nude, and then they have this one, which is Cherry Wood, which is like a brick red. 
almost like purpley. You know, they have so many different colors, like Sedona Red. That one's my favorite for the holidays because I always wear that underneath my liquid lipsticks, but oh my gosh. And lastly, for lipsticks. And trust me, you guys, this was so hard to pick just like one type of drugstore lipstick. I love so many different kinds. I love the Revlon ones. They have such a large selection of lipsticks in so many different finishes. And I probably would have chosen that one as my second. It's just that I probably reached for these ones just a smidge more. And I also probably would have recommended the Australis Velour Lips. But that one is only available in Australia. And it's not as easily accessible. I had to mention them. And they are the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks. Holy cow! I only have the, the fall shades because, you know, that's when the matte colors mostly come out. Um, oh! Oh, sorry. I have Divine Wine, which is a gorgeous Oxblood Burgundy color. I have Touch of Spice, which is probably my favorite lipstick for the fall time. It is just so beautiful. It pairs with everything. Every eye look, you name it, this lipstick is your friend. It's like that color, that just that color. It's so good. Lastly, I have Daringly Nude, and this is a gorgeous nude lipstick. It's kind of got a pink undertone to it, but it's like brown pink, and it's just so good. Oh, I would say that this probably would look a little bit better on more like medium to deep skin tones just because it is a little bit on the lighter spectrum of nude lipsticks. The formula is just so great on all of them. It's so consistent. I might have to touch up like in the center of my lips just after eating, you know, but other than that, like the edges are all good. They don't feather. I always feel like after a couple hours, like my lips, when I purse them together, they're still creamy. Like, I, I don't get it. It's like, what is what is in this magicalness of this lipstick, you know? All right, guys, so that is it for this video. That concludes all of my drugstore favorites. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. You found something new. Maybe you haven't tried any of the products that I mentioned. Well, I suggest you go try them because they are amazing. And if you have recommendations for drugstore favorites that I haven't mentioned or maybe I haven't even tried, mention them in the comments down below because I would love to try them out. I love makeup. If you have any recommendations, please let me know because I'm so curious and I'd love to try them out. Other than that, I have nothing else to say. I mean, I think that's it. Have you subscribed? Have you subscribed? Because you know Mama's going to do a giveaway when she reaches 2,000 subscribers. So... You better hit that subscribe button and, you know, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, share the video, and I think that's it. I have nothing else to say, except I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!